G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is another one of my EV Realist uh, videos about potential problems with the mad rush to transition to EVs uh, throughout the world. And if you like that kind of content, it'd be great to have you as a subscriber. So in this video, we're gonna look at a subject that I've already touched on on a previous uh, video, and that is uh, the cost of insurance. And one of the issues that uh, insurance companies are facing is quantifying uh, the losses that occur uh, when an EV is involved in an accident or an incident. Unlike an internal combustion engine car, you know, it has lots of different components. Um, and although that does increase its complexity, um, the flip side of that is that you can identify where a fault has occurred very easily. Modern cars have these diagnostic systems that uh, can pinpoint through a variety of sensors which particular component, you know, the air intake or the fuel injectors or whatever, uh, has got a problem. And then it's very simple to uh, look at that part, repair it and get the car back on the road. But the problem with an electric car is that you've got this enormous battery under the floor and there's no way of telling from the outside the condition of that battery after an accident. So there could be a cell in there that's been, that's been tweaked that could um, at some point short and cause a problem with the battery. And the insurers are having to be really careful and often writing off complete cars um, rather than putting a car back on the road that is uh, potentially unsafe. So here's an article from uh, The Telegraph uh, dated 20th October 2023. Uh, headline, electric cars risk becoming uninsurable. Difficulty pricing battery repairs forcing insurers to refuse cover. Electric cars risk becoming effectively uninsurable as analysts struggle to put a price on battery repairs, the researcher for the car insurance industry has said. Jonathan Hewitt, chief executive of Thatcham Research, the Motor Insurer's Automotive Research Centre, said a lack of insight and understanding about the cost of repairing damaged electric car batteries was pushing up premiums and resulting in some providers declining to provide cover altogether. Electric cars can be particularly expensive to repair, costing around a quarter more to fix on average than a petrol or diesel vehicle. Experts have previously warned electric vehicles are being written off after minor bumps because of the cost and complexity of fixing their batteries. Mr. Hewitt said, the challenge is that we have no way of understanding whether the battery has been compromised or damaged in any way. The threat of thermal runaway means that a catastrophic fire can take place if the cells of the battery have been damaged in a collision. What we're struggling to understand at the moment is how we approach that diagnostic technique. It's like a doctor trying to understand what's wrong with you without any notes or an x-ray. And this is exactly right, because if you have an impact or an incident or an accident with an EV, you just cannot see the status of every single cell in the, in the battery. And as I'm gonna demonstrate in another video, there are literally 7,000 of these tiny little cells in a Tesla battery. 7,000 of them, all connected together to make one huge power pack. But essentially they're just, you know, these kind of lithium cells. Later in the article it says, the battery is an extremely expensive component of an electric vehicle, and until we find efficient ways of dealing with it, we have the challenge of high premiums for electric vehicles, which nobody wants. Some customers are now being quoted over 100 pounds sterling a week to ensure their electric vehicles with others reporting premiums doubling or tripling compared to a year before. One reason attributed to the steep rise in the cost of electric car repair stems from recommendations for electric cars to be kept 50 feet apart in repair yards over fears they might explode. Um, check out my video up here which deals with the report that talks about how car parks need to be upgraded. Government guidelines suggest electric vehicles with damaged batteries should be quarantined from other cars due to the risk of battery fires, which are typically harder to put out than fires in petrol or diesel cars. And not only are they harder to put out, but they will often spontaneously reignite hours, days, or potentially even weeks after the initial fire has been put out or the initial incident has occurred. And that's because, you know, a tiny bit of damage 
to one of the cells can grow and develop extremely slowly. And so it might be, you know, a considerable period of time because it, before it gets shorted and it starts that runaway process. Thatcham Research said insurers would need to spend an additional 900 million pounds a year on quarantine facilities for damaged cars as a result of the safety measures by 2035 as more battery powered vehicles take to the roads with the changes forecast to add 20 pounds a year onto all car insurance premiums. Conservative MP Greg Smith, who sits on the Commons Transport Committee, said the lack of battery diagnostics is yet another reason why electric vehicles aren't remotely suitable for the mass market yet and why we should be looking to other technologies like synthetic fuels and hydrogen that will be more reliable and friendly to the planet. Well, I can't disagree with that last statement. Um, the rush to uh, transition to EVs is completely mad. It hasn't been thought through and there's just a litany of reasons why we shouldn't be doing it and this is just the latest in the long line so that's just about it for this video uh, drop a comment down below uh, let me know what you think if you like this kind of ev realist uh, videos that i've been putting out recently check out the playlist up here it'd be great to have you as a subscriber and hit that notification bell i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye for now